So this week what we're doing is we're working with an access database and in particular we're using something known as the Chinook database which allows us to sort of kind of use a uh, more modern uh, twist to the entire database concept. Of what we're actually looking at is say someone's iTunes uh, kind of folder. Uh, if I say for example click on track. All of a sudden I'm looking at all of the information about every track, every composer, all this information about everything going on with these people, which is pretty nice, as we can clearly see. So, one of the things we want to do, no, one of the things we want to do is we want to go ahead and start uh, designing out what we call as queries. Uh, a query is basically, I want to take this information I have over here and I want to ask it a question. To do that, I come over to my create section, and I, I generally speaking don't like to do query wizard. It, it's going to lead you down a dark path uh, that's not too terribly helpful in my opinion. Uh, I actually prefer the uh, query design. Now what this allows us to do all of a sudden, this allows me to have access to every single one of the tables in my database that I might want to look at. Let's say for example I want to look at just my artists. Well, I happen to have an artist uh, table and I can click on add and it's going to appear kind of in that that background uh, section now if I close out of show table all of a sudden I have access to this I can move it around I can do anything to it but one of the things I want to do is I want to ask it a question in this case I want to bring something down here now the quick and easy way to do this is I simply double click as you can see what happens is name appears down here and the table also kind of specifies that but what this allows me to do all of a sudden is if I want to run this well guess what we have a run button that we can click on and so all of a sudden I can see every single one of my artists every artist that was ever mentioned in any track on any album whatsoever is now available at my disposal if I want to go back for example I can switch back and let's say for example I want to see uh, the track uh, to the artist well if I click on show table again I see all my tables I see track now track has a link to artist how do I know this well if I hit add ah, I don't but you know this album album makes that connection happen now this is where that re kind of moving these things around can start to come into play. So what I'm doing all of a sudden is I'm making a query, but instead of it just being on one table, I need to make it from multiple tables. In this case, I want to look at sorry, the track name. Now all of a sudden, anywhere I have an artist name and a track name, sort of that link is going to apply. And when I run this, you see that all of a sudden I can see the artist.name and the track. So ACDC for those about to rock, we salute you. Uh, ACDC, put the finger on you. ACDC, let's get it up. Inject the venom. Aerosmith, Alanis Morissette, etc., etc. So I can now start to see uh, sort of where this data starts to relate a little bit better. 